Back well, as Israel braces for a response from Iran over the killing of a senior IRGC commander in Damascus last week, many people inside Iran are also worried about the prospect of war. There has been a ramping up of the rhetoric from both Israeli and Iranian leaders in the last few days. Well, I'm delighted to welcome to the studio Iranian human rights activist and women's rights advocate Elahe Jamali, also known as Lily Moo. Is that right? Welcome, Lily. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much for having me, especially during these um, very sensitive times. It was a yeah. tense night, wasn't it? We were seeing on all the Telegram channels 1.20 in the morning, that's when Iran is going to attack Israel. I mean, I, I can. you've seen both sides. I mean, you're yes. here in Israel. You've, you, yes. you've seen how anxious Israeli civilians are and I'm sure you know Absolutely. also that Iranian civilians yes. are feeling the same. Yes, Iranians in Iran, the civilians definitely do not want any conflict between Iran and Israel, but as we all know, Iranians are held hostage by the regime that is um, constantly causing a lot of havoc and terrorism in the, in the region through their proxies or through their mental war that they incite on their own citizens and the citizens in the region. Israel and Iran are one and the same in so many ways. People have been um, isolating us in our time of need for one another, for humanity. I mean, over the past six months, we have seen how the horrific attacks against the nation and the people, the women and the body of Israel was so easily ignored and championed on other sides in so many How ways. And Iranians were, um, were in shocked. so many ways, not only shocked in the very same attack happened in Iran for three days in November of 2019. Mm. And the world just brushed it off because the Islamic Republic is very good at hiding its violations, but it promotes and um, advertises its proxies violations as some sort of trophy, um, just to show that, you know, it's not us, it's them, but everybody gets trained in the camp of Khamenei and the IRGC. So right. people of Iran don't want war with Israel. They are afraid, they are petrified mm -hmm. of what is going on. And the anxiety that I see here amongst this incredible nation here who only want peace is heartbreaking. Right, because I've seen pictures from inside uh, Tehran and other cities where uh, presumably the, the regime have, have put up murals and posters, a clock, a ticking clock counting down to Israel's destruction. It seems they, they really want to whip up public, public hatred, but it doesn't seem to be working. The thing is when the mullahs try to attempt a PR campaign, it's it's only going to be a circus and sadly we've seen it unfold day and day out in Iran as if our incredible and intellectual people are incapable of understanding that their parody of reality is not in tune with the rest of the world nor the nation of Iran. So it's, it's a circus for their own entertainment and uh, ego boost in, in every way possible. Um, of course, prior to October 7th, there was a major uprising in Iran, unprecedented numbers of people coming out on the, on the streets to protest over the killing of uh, Masa Amini, a young uh, Kurdish woman. That's right. Um, how is the regional escalation that we're seeing now affecting the protest movement? The protest movement in Iran hasn't ended. It hasn't stopped because we still have all of our prisoners in prison. We have um, hundreds of thousands of Iranians uh, kidnapped into unknown custodies, and the international community has no idea about it. We have the biggest violation of violators of human rights and women's rights as as chosen as the head of the Human Rights Security Council for the UN. So what we are witnessing right now is uh, a big cover-up over the revolution that is currently alive and happening in Iran against the Islamic Republic. But what we are seeing right now is terrible figures in the West championing the Islamic Republic and mm. their betrayal of humanity will not be forgotten by the people of Iran and the people of the Middle East. Yeah, I mean, there's a famous clip from the protests in London. There have been huge um, anti-Israel rallies in London every single weekend since October 7th. Um, and we have seen some um, Iranian dissidents, very brave people speaking out yeah, against the Iranian regime, yeah, who, who've 
been yes. themselves arrested. Yes. But I think one guy holding a placard saying Hamas is a terrorist organization, yes. which according to British law it is, That's he was arrested. Right. Niyak Qorbani, a uh, good friend of mine, a descendant of Iran who has been fighting against the Islamic Republic since many, many years, but ever since the 2022 uprising, which we call a revolution, I really don't like the term uprising for it. It does minimize the effort and the um, act itself and the prisoners, the number of prisoners, the number of people dead. Anyhow, Niyak has been active against the Islamic Republic and has been calling out the terroristic activities of Hamas since day one. We've been in the streets of London together and um, along with Niyak we have my other friend Shahab and um, another friend named Hashem, another friend named um, Oh my God, he's going to kill me. He's one of my very good <laughs> friends as well, Sherwin Savad Kuhi. Um, and they are all risking their lives in London by calling out a terrorist group that has been placed as a terrorist in London, in the UK, by the British law. So it's, it's a very unsafe scenario what we are witnessing in London because. Um, Propaganda is more important than it's much more effective than the truth right now. Mm. And that that this is a very, very, very dangerous time because when we have tools that can magnify propaganda by faults of billions when in the past it only took thousands to create a Hitler or a Khomeini, now we have it happen at faults of billions in everybody's hands. And the Iranian regime seemed very skilled at, at propaganda. Absolutely. They learned it from Hitler and the Soviets very well and it, they are executing that right now. Okay, well, great to talk to you. Thank you so much. Uh, enjoy the rest of your, your stay. Thank Lynn. you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Tada.